Now, also debuting on Disney Plus is the tale of another kind of unconventional hero. Timmy Failure, Mista Mistakes Were Made, based on the best-selling book of the same name, explores the story of a quirky young man. Along with his 1,500-pound polar bear partner, Total, Timmy operates Total Failure, Inc., a world-class detective agency, in Timmy's mind, at least. Now, we're very honored to have Academy Award winner Tom McCarthy of Spotlight fame in the director's chair. Over the last decade, we have revisited some of Disney's most well-known classic stories, reinterpreting them in live action with a contemporary perspective for a new generation. Exclusively for Disney+, Plus, we are retelling one of the greatest love stories ever with Lady and the Tramp. Thank you. It is a romantic, cinematic adventure that is going to have you falling in love all over again with this pair of adorable canines. And of course, our amazing hostess today, Yvette Nicole Brown, plays Aunt Sarah in our film. And I want to say, you're going to see a lot of movie stars this weekend, but I'm particularly excited about this next group. Here is Yvette with Rose and Monty. Now, there they are. Hi, baby. Monty, good boy. Hi, Rose. Shortly after launch in December, we will be de debuting Togo, the incredible true story of how a man and his canine best friend braved the Alaskan tundra to complete a life-saving mission. Four-time Academy Award-nominated actor Willem Dafoe stars as Leonard Seppala, who must embark on an almost impossible winter journey at the top of the world with only his dog, Togo, to rely on. Julianne Nicholson stars as Leonard's wife, Constance. Now, the spirited Togo doesn't fit the mold of a traditional sled dog, but he is all heart and irrepressible spirit. The last film I want to share with you today sees our heroine traveling on a journey from even further north, the North Pole, to be exact. Now, Noelle is Santa's daughter. Her brother, Nick Kringle, is next in line to succeed their famous father in the family business. It's a very big job, so when Nick cracks under the pressure, Noelle encourages him to take a break. Only problem is, he never returns, forcing Noel to venture into the real world to track him down and save Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anna Kendrick and Billy Eichner. Hello. 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 Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Anna. It's really happening. How are you? Hello, D23. Hi. It's a family comedy called Diary of a Female President. Please help me welcome Miss Gina Rodriguez and Miss Tess Romero. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce a woman who has ushered in a new era of Star Wars storytelling and introduced a new generation to the excitement and epic adventure of a galaxy far, far away. She's here to share some information about the stories that will continue to expand the Star Wars universe exclusively on Disney Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy. Hi everybody, this is incredibly exciting to be here to talk about Disney Plus. This service will be the home to the entire Star Wars collection. But before delving into our live action projects, I want to tell you a bit of news about the animated series Clone Wars. As you know, Dave Filoni began this over a decade ago. And we heard from you the plea to bring this series back so I'm happy to say it will debut on Disney Plus in February 2020. And now I'd like to bring out two actors who will star in a new spy series inspired by Rogue One that's coming to Disney Plus and it's currently in pre-production. Reprising their roles from Rogue One, Diego Luna returns as the charismatic rebel leader Cassian Andor and Alan Tudyk as the wise-cracking, reprogrammed Imperial droid. <laughs> Hello! So many people. <laughs> wow. 
do we have a title? Can we say a title? Uh, or? Not eh. quite yet. No? Okay, no. I, that's good, actually, because I have a suggestion okay. for a title. Because uh, right now it's being called... Yeah, it's, it's uh, Cassie and Andor, the untitled story. No? Which is missing something. No, uh, it's okay. Like that. I'm thinking K2 Fast, K2 Furious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Alan. A Cassian Andor story. <laughs> <laughs> We've got you and me in there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now I have the pleasure of talking about The Mandalorian. <laughs> this is going to be our first series coming to Disney Plus on November 12th. And there is no one better to tell you about it than executive producer and writer and new Disney legend. John Favreau, and future legend, Dave Filoni. Would you like cast. to meet our cast? Let's do it. Let's bring, bring them out. out. Let's bring them out. Here they come. Here they come. We got Pedro Pascal. There he is. Come on out. We got, we got Gina Carano. Come on, Gina. We got Carl Weathers. And we got something. You want it? You want to finish it up? We got Giancarlo Esposito. And we've got we Taika Waititi. Do these people not look like they belong in the Star Wars universe? So, before leaving, we do have one more announcement. After secrets and fibs and not being able to talk about it, I am thrilled to bring out a beloved member of the Star Wars family. Music swells. <laughs> Kathleen, Kathleen, can you ask me in front of all of these people, all of these witnesses, can you please ask me, am I going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Ewan? Yes? Are you going to play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of this and much more to look forward to. I am telling you, November 12th can't come soon enough. Thank you, everybody. Have a great D23. 